it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. So I made a printable, you guys. It's available in my Etsy shop from our live with the no dyes, no problems. It's just templates. I gave you a basic template and then I gave you one with watercolored birds and jelly printed birds that I had done. So I'm going to show you I cut a bunch of these out myself and put them in my ephemera folder. I'm just going to pull a couple out um, and show you some different variations than what we did in the live. I had so much fun with you guys in the live and I had a lot of fun making these birds. You know, I definitely show you how to do this yourself. You don't have to buy the printables. They're just there in case somebody wants them. Um, but I did show and demonstrate a few ways to draw the birds, um, mainly using like a three circle system. So this was the card that I made in the live with you guys. <laughs> I love those three little birds on the line. And then I'm just showing you here that this was one of the birds in the templates and I just kind of took it a step further. I added some of this deco art glitter. There's two different ones on the market, but I used this one. It's a little bit creamy. The glitter in it is more refined. I found it interesting that they called this one holographic. Um, this one, so this is a more like a glue and a creamy consistency. And the other one I showed you is more of a like a gel consistency. So they're definitely different. Um, and they have a different uh, finished look as well from one another. Okay, so some of the watercolor birds that I put in this principle, I left really plain. And that's because I wanted to give you just a base to work with so that you could do different techniques. So for this one, I did stamping of smaller images. Um, but you could also do embossing. Here I brought in my Ink Onic pen from Arteza and I just drew in a few detailed lines. This is not based on any actual bird species. It's just having fun and doodling and playing. But definitely, you know, even if you didn't want to stamp, you could doodle with pens on the birds. Um, or you could get fun and go mix media and add, you know, feathers, anything, anything at all that you can dream of. Here is how this one turned out. I love it with those stamped um, images. Very whimsical. So I did that again with this little bird. I was going to make a card with these. That's what's over on the left, but then I kind of aborted mission because this video is actually about something completely different. I was, I guess I'm kind of marrying two videos together. So first we're playing with these little birds and then I am going to show you guys how I mass made some postcards for Happy Mail. And I'm going to chat with you guys about Happy Mail and I'm so excited because I spent my last day off organizing my Happy Mail and I'm so glad I did. The list has grown to over a hundred people and I just didn't have it managed well. I was trying to manage it all by pen and paper and that just really wasn't that efficient for me. And so I got my computer involved and I'm really happy with the system that I developed. I can't really show you my system because I would be exposing a lot of people's <laughs> addresses and I don't want to do that so, but uh, just trust me I've got it all set up and it's finally organized and I have a system and I'm really excited to start the new year with a happy mill system okay I am taking a piece of cardstock and layering it over this other piece because I want a solid white background so what I did is I had four sheets of this Franken paper for the paper pad that I've been covering slowly but surely with my scraps. I'm cutting these down. This is a 12 by 12 sheet that I'm cutting down to four by six, which means I can get six postcards per 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I had four sheets. That means I get 
24 postcards. So that means a quarter of the people on my mailing list are going to get a card. They've already been mailed off, actually, so they should be coming this week. I hope you all get them by New Year's. And um, I have actually sat down and already made four more sheets of Franken paper so that I can duplicate this again. But I wanted to share the process. So I used my Tim Holtz stamp that says postcards, postcard, and then I used my postcard postage. And I did this all in a sweet little system just like this. And it made it so much more efficient. I grabbed this sentiment. Um, it says cheers to you. I just wanted something fun, something New Year's, but also in a way to say thank you and just celebrate you guys. Um, it is just a small token of my appreciation for you guys supporting me and encouraging me and following my journey. I'm so grateful. If it wasn't for y'all, <laughs> I don't know, like what would be the point, right? <laughs> So now I'm stamping this on each of the cards and I'm leaving a space at the top for me to write my return address. And these are going to be the focal points to my postcards. So that's a printable from Junie Desiree. I'm going to leave her, um, all of her links down below because she is just amazing. She's a junk journaler. She makes really beautiful printables. But she, I just love the person that she is too. So you guys know I'm all about that. <laughs> so I'll leave her linked below. But she has this printable. It was um, like 89 or in the 80s. 80 something floral Polaroids. And so I just printed four sheets of these. And that was exactly what I needed for my 24 postcards. I'm checking all my corners and I'm just making sure that all of my paper is glued down very well since this is not going in an envelope. You guys, if y'all get one of these, let me know how it arrives. I would love to know if it comes damaged, if it comes all right, if it's shredded, if it never makes it. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know that part, but... Yeah, I'm curious how these are going to mail out. I mean, they're pretty sturdy, sturdy for what they are. Um, but I'm just curious with the postal system like it is how these will arrive. We shall see. So I just add these. Now, I did separate my piles because some of my paper was a little weaker than others. So I knew I was going to have to reinforce it. Um, I didn't want to send out anything that was too thin that I felt like could get crinkled very easily. So all these are the ones that I had separated that I thought were too thin. And it's because I had used like book pages or 20 pound uh, weight paper. And then the printed pattern paper, the 12 by 12 paper that I'm covering is pretty thin. It's not like a heavier cardstock. So... I decided to use some of this scrap paper, like this pink piece. Um, I bought some scraps from Walmart on a whim. Um, it was like a bundle of scraps from American Crafts for two, let's say 97. And it was a lot of handmade looking paper, which I don't have in my stash and I thought it would be fun. So I just picked a bag up to see what it was like. And this is some of the stuff that came in it. Um, I realized that one didn't have a stamp. And it's still a little flimsy on the corners. On that corner, which is bothering me. I want this to be in one piece. So I grabbed this other scrap that came from that same bag at Walmart. And um, I'm just going to glue that down in the top corner. Just reinforcing the corners especially like that one. It has the postage. We don't want that one getting crunched and munched. It'll never arrive. <laughs> I can't show you how I finished the other side of these um, because I had a system to that as well. So what I did 
is I printed all my labels and then I put, stuck those on and then each person got an individualized message. So um, the labels came first in that process and that's why I can't show you because I would be exposing everyone's names and addresses. Um, but once I had all the labels on, then I went back through the, the stack and addressed each one individually. It was so fun. I had a great time doing these. You know, I think I'm just going to grab a handful each month and try to send out Happy Mail once a month to about 25 people or so is kind of the plan right now. That takes about three to four hours, not including any card making, but just the process of labeling and writing and getting everything going. <laughs> but I want to make sure to reciprocate the kindness that you guys have shown me. And it's just fun sending out happy mail and knowing that it's going to lift someone's spirits. So um, I want to share with you guys that I'm going to be on craft roulette this Friday. Oh my goodness. That's right. I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be New Year's Eve and I'll be on craft roulette. It usually starts about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's the early part of the show. And then at 630, um, everything really gets kicked off. So if you don't know what craft roulette is, just search YouTube for craft roulette and you will know it's a card making game show it's so much fun mary gunn is the hostess with the mostest this will be i i think this will be my third or fourth time on the show i've actually kind of lost count but i am so looking forward to it so please come hang out with me we will have such a good time here are all of my postcards. I'm going to flip through them quickly. Um, I've already addressed them at this point, so I make sure not to turn them over. But here they all are. I really love them. They're highly texturized. <laughs> They're lots of fun. I had to buy postage. Um, some more postage. I was out of regular postage and um, from sending Christmas cards and the lady at the post office said those are the most unique postcards I've ever seen <laughs> which just made me giggle so you guys some of you guys have a unique postcard coming to you this month and if you're on my list and you don't get one this month you'll probably get one next month so I have a system so no one gets overlooked and I can spread the joy evenly. I'm so excited. Oh, I really love these. This is one of my favorites with that embossing. I'm just going to sit down and emboss a ton of card fronts here pretty soon because I'm getting low. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It really is a fun process. And... um all of this is with scraps, except for the ephemera that I printed. And so it's a great way to use up your scraps. Postage for a postcard is a lot less than it is. Well, not a lot, but almost half as much as a standard card. And I think it'll deliver just as much joy. I'm using some of my um, alcohol distress tape right here. I just noticed that one of the areas kind of bent a little easier from where the paper was meeting, so I reinforced that. I think that one's going to Penny, Penny's Crafts, so we'll see. I think that's who that was for. All right, then I took all of these to the post office, and what did I see to my surprise? More Christmas cards! So, you guys, this is like... My grandma's goulash of a video. I tell you what, here is some happy mail. 
Look at this. This is not mine. This is Carmen's from my friend Rhonda and her friend Rhonda. Look, I love this card. She's like, Mom, this one's so cool. She opened it as I was driving. So then I'm like, okay, when I get to the red light, I'll check it out. <laughs> and this one's from Jamie at Not Too Shabby. It's so sweet. I just love it. And this is from Sherry. And I love that she sent me this card. She said, something got stuck to the top of your card. And I didn't have time to remake you one. So I sent it anyways. And I thought, that's brilliant. Don't get hung up in little things that might you might think, oh, this is not good enough to send. Or it's imperfect. Send it anyways because it brings joy. I was just so happy to see Sherry's card. All right, and this is from my friend Mary. Oh my goodness, I love it, Mary. And then this is Rhonda. This was my card, and Rhonda, I really love this one too. I don't know where you got that ephemera, but it's super cool. Really cool. And I love this message on the inside. And it's got such a weight to it. I always love heavy cards. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your happy mail. You guys are just so sweet. It really does lift my spirits. I hope you all have a great day and come check me out on Craft Roulette this Friday. See you next time. Bye.